adjusting audio. To adjust the audio on the clip, a couple of things that we need to prepare prior. First of all, we need to make sure our waveform is showing. In this case, our waveform is off, now it's on. Click on the clip, we go to volume down below, and what we're able to do, we can raise and lower the volume level. And you can see the waveform getting bigger and smaller, and you can see the percentage of how you're raising it or lowering it. In this case, we'll still keep it at 100%. Now, to get a little more fine detail, I'm going to show you a little trick. We go back to Actions, and now we're going to de detach audio. And what happens here is that we separate the audio from the video clip. It's in separate clip that we're able to move up and down the timeline. We can move the beginning of the clip, we can move it anywhere we want. In this case, I'm going to hit undo, so we make sure we keep it in the same area. When I click on it and I go back to volume, we notice on the right-hand side we have an additional feature. It's called fade. Okay, what we're able to do is fade the audio in and out as we like on that particular clip. So by detaching audio, we add a second feature that allows us to fade in the audio and fade it out at the end of the clip, giving us a little more flexibility. And also, if we move our playback head to a desired location, like about here, click on the clip, I can fade it out, and I can trim it at that particular point if I want to. So I have quite a bit of flexibility. So to repeat, we'll go, we'll reduce these. We'll go back a couple of steps. Okay. I click on a clip. I go to volume. I can raise and lower it. I can go to action. I can detach it. Once I detach it, I go back to volume and I can fade it in and out and I can actually trim the beginning and end of a clip where I decided. Have fun with audio.